Schlump. Hello everybody, it's Schlump here, and today I will be showing you how to add non-Steam games to Steam on the Steam Deck, and also run non-Linux games on Steam Deck, which is really the same process. You add it to Steam, and Steam uses its Proton to do all the work there for you. So here's how to do that. There's actually a bunch of ways to do it. If you want to add an application to Steam that you downloaded from this Discover Store here, maybe so that you can run it in game mode, not the desktop mode like we're on now, you can go to here, All Applications, find it in here. Today we're going to find Prism Launcher as an example. Here it is. I can right click on it and then add to Steam. And Steam will do all the work for me here in this instance, which is super nice. So it's going to do its thing there. And now I can find it in my Steam library. Here it is. And what this means now that it's in Steam is that I can open it from game OS mode without having to go into desktop mode, which can make things easier if you're just trying to play it on the Steam Deck screen itself. So that's there. And next up, how to add a non Steam Deck application. So game slash application onto Steam. So this can be any old piece of like Windows software. So it can be EXE, MSI, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, once you have it downloaded, you just find it in your downloads folder. And then today we're going to be using the Roblox launcher, which I've tried installing Roblox on the Steam Deck. It doesn't work, but I'm just going to use this launcher here anyways as an example. What you can do is go to Steam, add a game, add a non-Steam game, go to Browse, find it. I'm already in this folder conveniently. Um, so if it's in the downloads folder, it'd just be home deck and then downloads. And then you want to make sure you change the file type to all. Right now it's on applications by default, which is super annoying I've found. It makes it pretty tedious to add games to Steam Deck or I guess Steam if you're doing it in big batches at a time. But anyways, you find where it is. Roblox Player Launcher, open. It's checked mark there. And we can go to add selected programs. And it just appeared right there. And quick note, if you are trying to run Windows applications on Steam Deck using Steam and Proton, I've found that a lot of times it's better to change the Proton version that Steam is using from the default Proton 7 to something like Proton Experimental. Because I found that Proton 7 kind of limits the application onto what parts of the Steam Deck system it can access, what parts of the Linux desktop. And um, a lot of times it's not good because games that have like heavy anti-cheat that want to search all parts of your computer to make sure you don't have any cheat programs on there. Or maybe if you're just having an installer, like in this case here, this is the Roblox installer. It wants to access lots of your computer so I can set up, set up the program correctly. It's going to need to access pretty much everywhere your computer. And I feel like Proton 7 kind of limits it and kind of restricts it on where it can go and what it can and can't access. But Proton Experimental is much more allowing of the application you're trying to run to access parts of your computer. So in most cases, I'd say if you're trying to run like an EXE or MSI, you're going to want to set it to Proton Experimental. So in this instance, we'll do it here. Even though I've already tested it in the past, Proton, or sorry, Roblox does not work on CNAC. That's really unfortunate. I was trying to play in Phantom Forces on the go, you know me, but it just seems like that's not going to work on CNAC. But you can still add an application here anyways, and that's what I've done today, just to show you how to do that on Steam Deck. So that's how you add a non steam application, whether it be uh, native to Linux, like it was here, like because we got all these from the Discover Store, or if it's something you download off the internet, like this exe file here. So that's how you do it. And now, since it's in Steam, you can go to gaming mode, and when you're playing on Steam Deck, you can just open it from Steam. It'll be in your Steam library, which is super cool. It'll be in the non-Steam game tab. If this video helped you do that, leave a like and subscribe for more Steam Deck videos just like this one. Most people who watch my videos have not actually gone down and hit the subscribe button. And it would help me out a lot if you did so. So please do that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Steam Deck video.